the great Japanese base at Rabaul on the northern tip of New Britain, United States carrier-based planes swoop down on enemy warships. Cameras in the wings of Navy dive bombers and fighters film the attack as one of the large Jap cruisers maneuvers to escape. Blasted and burning, the doomed cruiser is attacked again and again. Now carrying the war to the enemy, American forces have won mastery of the air in this area of the Pacific. Springtime in Washington, D.C. Along the shores of the Potomac Tidal Basin, the famous cherry blossoms are once more in bloom. Service women stationed in the nation's capital enjoy Sunday leave amid the beauty of the city's historic parks. thousand miles across the continent in the state of Washington, fields of daffodils are ready for harvesting. Today, the blooms form a picturesque setting for an army romance, the full military wedding of a staff sergeant and his bride. She's a private in the Women's Army Corps. An army chaplain performs the ceremony. This young couple will always remember the spring of 1944. motion pictures, the late Thomas Edison at the camera and his friend Henry Ford reenact the filming of one of the first movies. Today, Mrs. Edison, widow of the great inventor, displays the kinetoscope her husband perfected in 1894. From this machine, with its maze of spools and sprockets, grew America's amazing motion picture industry. Lower Broadway, New York City in 1896. One of the earliest of motion pictures, it records the sights of the big city with its horse-drawn streetcars and teeming traffic of a half century ago. The turn of the century saw Theodore Roosevelt and his famous Rough Riders return from the war in Cuba. Saw this same Roosevelt, the man of the hour, cheered as President of the United States as he rode down Washington's Pennsylvania Avenue in the inaugural parade of 1905. Long forgotten, but still within the span of memory, the working girl of a bygone era. And here is a forerunner of that popular international institution, the Beauty Parade. Styles in costumes and in figures have gone a long way since these early pictures were made. In the theatrical world, Lillian Russell will be remembered as one of the most glamorous women of her time. Hers was the day of the horseless carriage, when motoring in an automobile was really a thrilling adventure. Market Street, San Francisco, as it looked nearly 50 years ago. The magic of the motion picture preserving valuable historic records of early American life.
Hollywood gave the world film heroes that will never be forgotten. William S. Hart, King of the Westerns. Clara Kimball Young with Sidney Drew in one of the early screen dramas. Pearl White, heroine of the perils of Pauline, always survived the most hair-raising stunts. Ruth Rowland, performing the amazing feats of daring for which she was famous. Melodrama with a thrill a minute. In 50 years, the movies have traveled a long road. Inside Nazi-occupied Europe, the enemy waits grimly for the day of invasion as across the English Channel, Allied forces plan the great offensive that is sure to come. Prepared to spearhead the attack, American airborne troops assemble at English bases to perfect the timetable for invasion. Every detail worked out in advance is tested under actual flying conditions. Giant troop-carrying transports schedule their takeoffs down to the last second Fleets of huge C-47s, loaded with veteran American shock troops ready for the supreme test. Prime Minister Churchill and General Eisenhower, Allied commander, see thousands of American paratroopers drop from the skies in a spectacular rehearsal for the day of invasion. Machine guns, mortars, ammunition and supplies are dropped in specially marked chutes. Everything to make each unit a complete and effective fighting machine. Shock troopers falling from the clouds. A dramatic and impressive spectacle of the ever-growing power and might which the United Nations are amassing for the blow that is to liberate the people of Nazi-occupied Europe. 